Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome again for another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing how to solve quadratic equations by using the quadratic formula. the following objectives for today's topic. Letter A, identify the values of A, B, and C in quadratic equation. Letter B, solve a quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. And letter C, value accumulated knowledge as means of new understanding. If a quadratic equation cannot be solved using extracting the square roots, factoring, and completing the square, your last resort is to use the quadratic formula. Quadratic formula is applicable to all quadratic equations. Therefore, you can solve all quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. In a quadratic formula, for any given quadratic equations in one variable, in the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, all you need to do is to substitute the corresponding values of the numerical coefficients of the quadratic term, the linear term, and the constant term from the standard form of the quadratic equation in the formula x is equal to negative b positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Let's have our first example. Let's find the roots or the solutions of the quadratic equation 6x squared minus 11x minus 10 is equal to 0. The first step we need to do is to identify the numerical coefficient of each term of the quadratic equation. The numerical coefficient of the quadratic term is positive 6. The numerical coefficient of our linear term is equal to negative 11. And the numerical coefficient of our constant term is equal to negative 10. After we have identified the values of a, b, and c, we will now use the quadratic formula x is equal to negative b positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We need to substitute the corresponding values on our formula. Substituting the value, x will be equal to negative times the quantity of the value of b is equal to negative 11. Positive negative square root of the quantity, the value of b again is negative 11, raised to the second power, minus, bring down 4, and then the value of a is equal to 6. So we have negative 4 times 6 times the value of c, which is equal to negative 10. All over, then copy mo lang yung 2, times the value of a, which is equal to 6. And then after that, we will simplify the equation. Just bring down x, and then negative times negative 11 will be equal to positive 11. Positive negative square root of negative 11 raised to the second power, so you will multiply negative 11 by itself. Negative 11 times negative 11 will be equal to positive 121. And then negative 4 times 6 is equal to negative 24. Negative 24 times negative 10 will be equal to positive 240. All over 2 times 6 will be equal to 12. Then bring down x is equal to copy 11 positive negative square root of 121 plus 240 is equal to 361. Then all over, copy mo lang ulit yung 12. Then after that, x will be equal to 11. Then positive negative square root of 361, you will think of a number 
Now, once na minultiply mo sa sarili niya, ang magiging sagot ay 361. And that is 19 because 19 times 19 is equal to 361. All over 12. Then, let's get the roots of the quadratic equation. So, the first root will be x sub 1 is equal to 11 plus 19 all over 12. Then, add lang natin yung numerator. 11 plus 19 will be equal to 30. Copy yung denominator na 12. Lowest term, 30 over 12. This will be equal to 5 over 2. Then, let's get the second root. This time, x sub 2 will be equal to 11 minus 19 all over 12. So, 11 minus 19 is negative 8 all over 12. Then, lowest term of negative 8 over 12 is equal to negative 2 thirds. Therefore, there are two roots in the quadratic equation 6x squared minus 11x minus 10 is equal to 0, which is 5 over 2 and negative 2 thirds. Let's have our second example. Solve the solutions or the roots of the quadratic equation 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0. Again, our first step is to identify the numerical coefficient of each term of the quadratic equation. The numerical coefficient of 2x squared is positive 2. The numerical coefficient of our linear term, which is negative 5x, is negative 5. And the numerical coefficient of our constant term is equal to positive 3. After that, we will be using the quadratic formula, which is x is equal to negative b, positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. All we need to do is to substitute these values on our formula. So, x will be equal to negative times the value of b, which is equal to negative 5. Positive negative square root of the value of b, again, is negative 5. Raised to the second power, copy negative 4, times the value of a is equal to 2, times the value of c is equal to 3. All over 2, times the value of a is equal to 2. We will simplify now the equation. Just bring down x, and the negative times negative 5 will be equal to positive 5. Positive negative square root of negative 5 to the second power is equal to 25. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 times 3 is equal to negative 24. And then 2 times 2 is equal to 4. And then after that, just bring down again x is equal to 5. Positive negative square root of 25 minus 24 is just equal to 1. Then all over, copy lang yung 4. And then x is equal to 5. Positive negative square root of 1 is just equal to 1 all over 4. Let's now solve the roots of the quadratic equation. So the first root will be x sub 1 is equal to 5 plus 1 all over 4. 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 all over copy 4. So the lowest term of 6 over 4 is equal to 3 over 2. Then for the second root, x sub 2 is equal to 5 minus 1 all over 4. So 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. 4 divided by 4 is just equal to 1. Therefore, there are two roots in the quadratic equation, 3 over 2 and positive 1. Let's have our last example. Solve the roots or solutions of the quadratic equation x squared minus 16x plus 54 is equal to 0. Again, let's identify the numerical coefficient of each term. The value of a is equal to 1. The value of b is equal to negative 16. And the value of c is equal to 54. Now for that, we will be using the quadratic formula x is equal to negative b positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We will be substituting the corresponding values. So copy x is equal to negative times the quantity of the value of b is equal to negative 16. Positive negative square root of the value of b is equal to negative 16 raised to the second power minus copy 4, then the value of a is equal to 1, 
times the value of C, which is equal to 54, all over 2 times the value of A, which is equal to 1. We will be simplifying this, so bring down X, negative times negative 16 is equal to positive 16, positive negative square root of negative 16 to the second power, so negative 16 times negative 16 will be equal to positive 256, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, negative 4 times 54 is negative 216. All over 2 times 1 is equal to 2. After that, just copy x is equal to copy 16 positive negative square root of 256 minus 216 is equal to 40 all over 2. Then, x will be equal to 16 positive negative square root of, we will think of factors of 40. That once you multiply those two factors, the answer must be 40, and one of those number must be a perfect square. So the factors of 40 is 4 times 10. So 4 times 10 is equal to 40, and 4 is a perfect square. So 4 becomes 2 to the second power, then times 10. Then all over 2, then after that, x will be equal to 16 positive negative then 2 to the second power second power and square root will be cancelled out kaya lalabas na yung positive 2 dito sa ating equation so 2 square root of 10 all over 2 then after that we will simplify this just divide 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8 positive negative 2 square root of 10 divided by 2 this will be cancelled out so, matitira na lang ay square root of 10. Then, let's compute now for the two roots of the quadratic equation. x sub 1 is equal to 8 plus square root of 10. And x sub 2 will be equal to 8 minus square root of 10. So, therefore, there are two roots in the quadratic equation. x squared minus 16x plus 54 is equal to 0, which is x plus square root of 10 and x minus square root of 10.